Tiki Lounge. You just want to show off. And this guy's a comedian. Name brand is Juno. Now you guys see the grid. I see you. <laughs> Aloha, my ohana. It is your boy back in it to win it. Now, if you're new to the channel, let me be the first to give you a nice big warm aloha and welcome. Now, on this channel, we talk about everything aquatics, whether it be freshwater or saltwater, goldfish and koi ponds, local fish store tours, fish rescues, product reviews, and DIY projects in the hobby. All right, Ohana, so I am super excited for this video because guess what? Dun, dun, dun. It's another episode of your two favorite YouTubers, Dennis Rishi, the global warmer, AKA Inspector Gadget, and of course, your boy, the Hawaiian Fish Keeper. Now, I am in my garage, Tiki Lounge. We have another treat for you guys. It's almost like a back-to-back, -back, man. It's almost like, I don't know, it's part of my family. He practically lives here. He sleeps in the living room. I got a bed here. Whenever he needs to stay here, he's got a place to stay. We are upgrading again Tiki Lounge. Now, remember I told you guys how we insulated the garage door the last time I was here? That man door there, we foamed a lot of things here. Well, today we're gonna add some electricity in Tiki Lounge. I'm gonna add some LED can lighting up in the ceiling. So we're gonna make this thing look really nice. And of course, I'm gonna take you guys on this journey. We're going step by step as you can hear the drills going. There he is, everyone's favorite YouTuber right there, Dennis Rishi, AKA the Global Warmer. What are you doing right now, Dennis? Tell everybody. I am pulling a string line so we have a straight line for our can lights. Oh, this guy's always one step ahead of the game. You can see the string line is going all the way down to that side of the door because we are going to actually add the can lighting symmetrically all the way across. Did I say that right, symmetrically? Hey, do you have a word of the day yet? <laughs> Stay tuned. We are going to have a Dennis Rishi word of the day, okay? This guy's always full of surprises. So I will video some of this, and we're going to get into some more detailed work here in Tiki Lounge, a.k.a. the fish room. Dennis is finding out where the studs are by that old knocky knock routine. And uh, we're going to actually install, uh, we're going to go four lights, just so you guys get a visual. We're going to go four lights this way. So that light is a goner, just so you guys know. That is like maybe 1972, 1973. That bad boy's a goner. Same thing with this light, it's gonna be a goner. And uh, yeah, along this uh, pink line here, we're gonna put four can lights, LED can lights. We're gonna put either maybe one or two lights right up here, just so you guys know, give you guys an idea. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show, all right? I'm not gonna leave anything out for you guys. If you guys ever wanna maybe turn your garage into a room or a fish room, use my idea or maybe make it your own, but this is what I'm doing to make this um, home or my dog house, <laughs> either one. Speaking of the can LED lighting, this is actually what I purchased at Lowe's, okay? Name brand is Juno. Uh, they look really nice, really sleek, contemporary, modern looking, but you can also change right here. See that? It's got five switches, color options. Kelvin color. You can change up the Kelvin color. That's the word I was looking for. Hey, that might be the Dennis Rishi word of the day. Matter of fact, that is gonna be the Dennis Rishi word of the day is Kelvin. Say that for me at home, boys and girls. Kelvin. There you go. So I bought two boxes. So we have a total of 12 lights. The can lighting was a little expensive, but you get six lights, $150 for this box Juno. Just to give you guys a heads up, if you guys wanted to know, this is how much I'm paying, okay? Now, you, there's always shortcuts around this. You don't have to get this brand. You don't have to get so many lights, but I just wanted to make sure that the fish room, AKA Tiki Lounge, it was well lit. Uh, I can't wait. Look at the aquariums right there. There's aquariums everywhere right now. We got some out here. Look at, <laughs> they're out over there. Just move some things around. We got like 455s, 125. We have a 180 that will be coming and another 125. So as far as aquariums go, Tiki Lounge is gonna be just fine because we have all the aquariums that are in the house too as well. I got lots of plans, guys, lots of plans. So be patient, but in the right. end, you guys are gonna love it. Oh yeah, shout out to Red Sea too. If you guys ever want to sponsor your boy, I am down. Are you guys down? A nice, beautiful Red Sea aquarium here. Ooh wee. Let's get busy. I'm going to bother my boy Dennis over here as he's 
you know, drilling holes in the ceiling. Dennis, he's actually uh, string lining that side there, and he's gonna run it to the other side there. So, ooh, man, I can't wait. One step closer huh, to Tiki Lounge. Between Tiki Lounge and Tiki Falls 4.0, man, it's killing us, Dennis. It's, and it's killing my pocketbook too, bro. <laughs> Although, it's not just me that's taking care of this too as well. I gotta give a huge shout out to my boy, Dennis Rishi, the global warmer. Without this guy here, man, none of this content would be possible. None of it. So, big prop. Oh no, it's, it's true. He's trying to be real humble right now, guys, but it's true. And you guys know too, and I give a shout out to him all the time. This guy has done so much for the channel, so much for moi. He's the guy behind Tiki Falls 4.0 and Tiki Lounge. Big props to my boy, Dennis. There he is right there. He knows what to do, mechanically minded. I am not. I'm a content creator minded, that's me. He's uh, doing the measurements right now. And then uh, I'm sure he's gonna be cutting some holes up in the ceiling. And uh, we're gonna be running electricity cords and wires and stuff. So this stuff isn't uh, easy to do, not for me anyways, so. So like I said, I gotta give a huge shout out to my boy, Dennis Rishi. Hey, heating and air, the global warmer, all of his links down in the description of this video. Thanks, brother Dennis. There it is right there, that sign of approval. That means leave me alone. <laughs> so I was just asking Dennis what he was doing, right? He's like marking the ceiling, he's drilling in screws. He's pretty much doing a grid so he knows exactly where he's gonna put each can um, in the ceiling. So I had no idea what he was doing. That's that whole mechanical mind thing, right? The whole prep work. I was wondering why he was putting in screws here, screws there. I had no idea. So this is actually really cool. And then once he's done with the grid, you'll see exactly what I mean and what he means. Cause all I see is like some pink string up in the ceiling, like most of you guys. And then there's like, you know, the screw there. There's like a screw down over here, right there. These are the types of jobs where I get super curious and anticipating what's gonna happen next. So I look forward to these little things that he's doing. Because not only do I learn something, you guys learn something at home. No shortcuts, huh, Dennis? No shortcuts. No shortcuts for my man. Everything is done down to the T. My dude knows his stuff, man. You need me to hold that for you? You good, man, look at that. The guy's a one-man machine. And so I'm just kind of uh, videoing uh, my boy make his grid. And then once he's done, you'll understand. Oh, oh shoot, let me get that for you, bud. That's, that's what I'm here for. I'm a great uh, helper is what I am. Yep. I think one of our first videos together when we were doing the above ground pond in the backyard, I was saying he's Pat Sajak, I'm, I'm like his Vanna White. So I'm sitting there turning letters, picking up the mess. He drops something, he's like, hey, go give me that screw. Hey, get my drill for me. Hey, that's me, I'm the runner here. Well, there's the grid, now you guys see the grid. And so what, are we putting a can light on each X? Yeah, so anywhere it meets, we put a can light there. There. Oh, I gotcha. Can light there. Wow, can light there. Can light there. Wow. Interesting, man. When you said you were gonna draw a grid with this line, I had no idea it was literally a grid. Super cool. That all makes sense. Dude, what is this? I didn't even know you picked this up. This is a uh, hole saw kit. You could change the dimensions by bringing these in. Oh. So we have it set for six inch and all the debris falls into this. So you chuck this into your drill, stick it up against the drywall, and then the center of your grid goes right here and as it spins, it cuts out the drywall, drops into here, it doesn't leave a mess in your face. Whoa, that is cool, man. I didn't even know they made something like that. So that's specifically made for putting in can lights for... Oh, that is cool. This is a cheapo cheap. They have much better ones, but... Oh, but hey, it's gonna get the job done, right? Yeah, oh man, that's cool. I can't wait for that thing to, to go into effect. I wanna see, so, yep, six inches. We're good to go right there, six inches against the drywall uh -huh. and as you push against the drywall oh spring loaded gotcha so that way it catches all the dust inside there. oh that's neat almost makes it airtight huh so none, no debris gets anywhere Hopefully. wow very cool let's check it out dude you want a stud finder i have a stud finder man you need one no you sure you just want to show off 
So I asked him if he wanted a stud finder because that's what I would use, somebody normal like me. But he looked at me and rolled his eyes, so you know he's just a show off. Now he's just flexing on me because he can, first off. And second off, he just loves to make me look like such a novice or an amateur. So it's all good, I'll take his blows. You know why? It's because Dennis Ricci is the man. Enough with uh, talking about him, you know his head's blowing up, it's kind of hanging off of his shoulders right now. This is the LED light. Oh, that's See the light plate, that well, look how thin it is. So it doesn't even matter if there's a stud because the stud can go right over the center of this oh, and this can sit up there and the gotcha. transformer sits off to the side and these just clip in cool. that way it's remodel or brand new new construction. Yeah, wow, that's neat. Pretty simple. Yeah. All right, here we go. Wow, that is crazy. Look at that and it kept all of the dust and debris inside that canister look at that a perfect cut so it didn't drop because we had that screw right there because there's a two by four there okay i see it and so our spring will tuck up into this side ah just like you said to us a little earlier man see you know what you're doing if you guys were wondering what that device is called it's an adjustable hole cutter and it's a Milwaukee brand. I'm sure every brand has one, but this is the one that he picked up. He needed something super quick. If you were wondering how much this costs, this is about $34 and we got it at Ace Hardware. We just needed something quick. And there's an Ace Hardware less than, um, you know, two miles from my house. So that's what we did. As you can see the picture right there, pretty cool. Debris shield, that's what it's called. Here's the moment of truth, Ohana. We're gonna see if this thing uh, fits as uh, planned. So. <laughs> Here we go, Mr. Dennis Rishi is uh, up. Yeah, this is an attempt fit. Oh, okay. There's the clip. Woo! Look at that. That is gonna look sharp. And if you guys were wondering, don't worry about the ring up there. I'm gonna paint the entire ceiling. That looks good, man. And you said you've never done one of these before. You're a liar. Why you always lying? Dude, that is clean. OMGZ, guys. Well, we're gonna uh, drill some more holes. Look at this. See him knocking, looking for the stud. Look at right here. Hey, hey, bud. Here you go. Try this, man. It's a stud finder, man. Just, I know you don't like to use them. I know well, you're kind of. We'll All right, it's a stud finder. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, you're a stud. I get it. Look at this guy, man. This guy's a comedian too. I mean, look at that. He can build things, DIY guy, and he's a comedian. Oh, that was a good one though. Hey, comment down below, hashtag Dennis, if you guys like that joke. I'm gonna use that one, that's a good one. I think I'm gonna use it with my wife. I'm gonna say, hey baby, you know what this is? It's a stud finder. And then I'm gonna go right over my chest and be like, yeah, what's up, baby? <laughs> yeah, uh, she'll say batteries are low or something. All right, Dennis, so explain to everybody what you're doing here. That Juno box is what came with the light, right? Yeah. So this is my power coming in. You got your neutral, your hot, your ground, and they just plug into these little uh, connectors in here. Strip it back, stab it into one of those holes, vice versa. Hmm. And then that's what's going to power it up. You got your ground. This screws right to a, a stud bay. So that's going up in the attic then? This is going to go up in the oh, attic. Okay. Staple the wire back so that way this wire is going to go to your power source. Mm. And then this plug goes to the LED and oh, that just light. screws on. So you have room to move your LED around. Gotcha. And then this, you're just going to run two screws or a screw into, mm -hmm. uh, into some lumber up there to secure it. Okay. And then you can change the Calvin color right off the side. So if you want it more of that orangey yellow, switch it over there. If you want more of that bright blue white light, okay, uh, switch it to this side. Awesome. So it goes from 5,000K to 27K. Oh, interesting, okay. And then that yellow wire. What? This is just a uh, uh, Romex, um, pick it up at the hardware store. This is number 12, uh, okay. so this will do 20 amp, but you only have 14 up there, so oh, okay. you can overdo it, you just can't underdo it. Gotcha. This is where you can bring your power in through, one okay. of those, so they give you plenty of spots. We're just gonna pick the same spot on all of them. So that's what the slot is for, to put your screwdriver in there. Oh, Bend it back it and out. forth, and it pops out. Ah, gotcha, that's how you run your Romex rigs. connector, and that's this connector here. 
What is it called? A Romex connector. Romex connector. That's this another is Romex. Word. That's another word that I just learned. Romex. Is that a name brand or is that just the actual name of the device? This, this type of wire is Romex, Romex, and this is your connector connecting to a metal box. If you just stuck wire in here, over time, vibrations and, and heat and cool will rub against the edge of this and cut the wire. Or somebody trips on the wire and it pulls on oh, it. Oh, gotcha. So you use this connector. This goes inside. There's different types of connectors. This is just the style I always buy. Okay. Look at that. So he's prepping one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight. And the wire goes through here, and then you tighten those screws, and it pinches the wire in there and holds it tight. So that way the wire won't pull out if somebody trips on it. Or Wow, that's cool, man. I never knew that. Never knew that. There we go, Mr. Dennis Rishi teaching me and maybe some or most of you guys at home. Um, I know some of you guys that may be electricians are like, that's like electrician 101. Well, I'm learning something new, put it that way. I'm not saying that I can do it and I feel comfortable doing it, but I'm learning. I'm learning and I'm watching and I'm recording. <laughs> oh, for all my Rams fans out there, I gotta show you guys the Rams flag that's blowing out here in front of the house. Uh, just pissing everybody off. Let's not forget, the Rams are the Super Bowl champs of 2022 so big shout out to the rams big shout out to my boy adam hey horns up baby horns up so what dennis did which he's just a brilliant mind like that is stick all the little light modulators in each hole where he's going to go up into the attic and hook them up that way it's a lot easier for him we'll follow him up there and i'll kind of show you guys exactly like where he's going though and if you didn't know, as soon as you open this door to the house, there is the attic. And look at that. He's got his light tucked in his hat. That's what he does. He just hit the light on. There's a light that's up there in the attic. And this is where it gets a little scary. All those scary movies start to come to life. He's got the pads on. Oh, this guy's good to go. He looks like the Terminator, man. All right, as we climb up the ladder, so... And that's the first hole. Dennis is going to wire up and you really got to know what in the hell you are doing to be up in the attic running cable and wire drilling holes splicing and dicing this guy man <laughs> the terminator you got a light yeah no man it's the truth though man this is super impressive man i mean how many are there nine ten, ten holes total i mean jeez. do you need me to pass you up anything from the bottom Yes. Okay. Need a screwdriver. All right. Let me go down there. All right. I told you guys I'm good for something. So let me grab the screwdriver. All right. I think it might be one of these two. This one. All right. There you go. As you can see, Dennis. Say hi, Dennis. Hi, Dennis. <laughs> hey, we got a nice view of you right here, man. Look at the focus. Look at the determination. <laughs> the cunningness. I mean, look at this Quite guy. Hard. I mean, the way this is turning out right now. I mean, uh, Dennis is making this look like. Tiki Lounge, the restaurant, with this recessed lighting that's kind of built into the ceiling. I mean, man, it is. Hey, how about this? How about like, once this thing is done, I invite some of the Ohana. Maybe we'll do like a giveaway on a live stream or something. And if you guys are local, hey, more power to you. And if you're not, if you guys wanted to come visit, that would be cool. We hang out in here, maybe sip on some whiskey, look at some fish. Hey, do you mind, man? I'm trying to talk here. He doesn't care. Either do I. Huh? I see you. I see you. See, what you guys don't see off camera is him throwing pieces of uh, stuff through the hole at me, all right? So, you know, I'm just trying to embed little scary movie scenes while he's up in the attic. You know, I'm trying to freak him out a little bit. Of course, you know, he's a man's man, so it ain't gonna help. But I just thought I'd have some fun with him, you know what I mean? I see you. We can see the handiwork from down here on what uh, Mr. Dennis Rishi is doing. Right there is the uh, modulator. You can see he's mounting it to a piece of wood there. Is that what it's called, a modulator? Yeah, I don't know, something like that. It sounds cool. But uh, he's doing it to each one of these circles. OMGZ Ohana, would you check out the lights? Look at that, huh? Don't worry about that. That's gonna get painted. That was where the old light was. Uh, what was that light called? Those kinds of 
a fluorescent bulb yeah that hole right there i'm gonna buy a little cap so we'll screw that in there uh, obviously i'll get a black one because i'm gonna paint the ceiling black but i just wanted to show you guys the handiwork of mr dennis would you look at those lights look at that huh and we haven't turned them on yet so that'll be the grand finale guys we don't even know if they work yet there's another fluorescent uh panel there that's gonna get painted and we're gonna seal that hole but I wanted to show you guys what the uh, recessed lighting looks like. And then you see these wires hanging down. You can see my boy Dennis holding all three of these. These are the electrical wires that go to the uh, garage door opener. So this was Dennis's great idea, my man right here. He decided, hey, why don't we drill a hole, run all these wires up in the attic and run them down to the panel, which is right there. You can kind of see it right there on the wall instead of having them run, as you can see, kind of tacky, right? So we're gonna hide all of these cables up through the attic. So you're gonna drill a hole straight through the attic there, the ceiling? Yeah. Okay. Right in this area, we're gonna put a hole straight through it. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna run the sensors for the garage door opener up the wall, put a hole in the corner there, one in the corner over there, and pull it across the attic. Oh, Same thing man. for the, the opener. Oh, that's going to be sick. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to actually next level the uh, Tiki Lounge by hiding all these wires. Figured I'd take you guys on this little step-by-step uh, -step on the uh, Tiki Lounge on what we were doing. Hopefully, I have my fingers crossed. The next time I pick up this camera, we'll have light. This thing looks so nice, and I thought it was a great idea about uh, the wires running up through the attic. Uh, it was his idea right there behind me, Dennis. And I was like, we can do that. He goes, I can do anything you want. So I'm like, okay, let's do it then, why not? So uh, that's what we're doing. All right, Ohana, this is the moment of truth. We're gonna hit the light switch and we're gonna see if these lights work. Uh, Dennis, what are you doing with the flashlight, man? Let me get the lights for you, all right? It'll help you out. Let's see if the lights work. Of course they're gonna work. I wired them. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Is that no cap? No cap. That's cap. I, I accuse you of capping. Oh, no no cap. cap. That's cap. Ooh. Here we go. One, two, three. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, I'm sorry, man. You all right, dude? Did it blind you? I'm so sorry, man. That light just blasted you right there. Wow. Oh, Hana. Tiki Lounge. I'm telling you, man. Tiki Lounge, the restaurant. Are you kidding me? Wowzers. Look at that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh my gosh. One, two, right over the workbench there. <gasps> man, Dennis, I love it, man. I love it. Yeah, they all came on. This smarty pants here. Look at that. Oh man, the lighting in here is insane. Ooh, I can't wait to patch that up. We'll get that done soon. Man, this looks good. Woo! Couple more steps. And what Dennis is doing right now is all the wires that were going to the automatic uh, garage door opener are all hidden. They're up in the ceiling. Let me show you. Before they were running down here, running across here, no more. Look it, he drilled a hole up in the ceiling right there and uh, ran the wires right through the ceiling there. Look at that. See that? Look at that. It's a custom job here. Wire comes down here. It came out awesome, Ohana. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, I can't thank this guy enough. My man right here, Dennis Rishi. Thank you so much, my man. This looks great. And we're getting just closer and closer uh, to the grand opening of Tiki Lounge. Man, I don't know, what's next? What are we gonna do next? Oh, I think we're gonna do the GFI. Yeah, the connectors yes the outlets we didn't get a chance to do them in this video so stay tuned we're gonna do that and uh yeah other than that we'll see you guys in the next video much love and aloha